there for them. They did well, didn't they? Brilliant. Just Thomas then. and Christopher, well done. Now, for years, they've been one of the sights of summer in the countryside across the West. This year, though, the mystery isn't where do they come from, more like where have they gone? Indeed. We're talking about those amazing crop circles that magically seem to appear in farmers' fields. I'm sure you all remember. Uh, we now know, though, that uh, they're not man-made. They are man-made, but they're not the work of uh, aliens, which is a bit of a shame because I was a bit of a believer there. <laughs> but it seems their creators have actually lost interest in it all. Bit of a shame. Rob Murphy reports. This sight and sound so common in summertime Wiltshire is a rarity this year. With the permission of a farmer, master circle maker Matthew Williams showed us how these are created. But in 2006, only one circle has appeared, and that was an advert for a newspaper. It's a far cry from recent summers where these stunning sculptures were cut into the countryside. So why are these famous creations dying out? Well, hay fever is one reason. Every year I make circles, I end up coming out with black eyes and streaming nose and, and generally have to recover for a day or so before I can, I can do anything else. So I thought it would be a good idea to have a year off. And, uh, and it's just strange that a lot of other circle makers have been saying the same thing, you know. It's time to have a little time off and see if anybody else wants to take up the, the reins of making some crop circles. So after more than a decade of designing and creating circles, Mr Williams has hung up his stomper board. Another major figure in the circling world died recently, another's moved abroad. But Mr Williams hopes that someone else will pick up where he's left off. It's an unusual art form. It's one that you don't get everywhere else and it's something you can get in. You know, you can't, you can't walk around a Mona Lisa, but you can walk around a crop circle. Although some still believe they're created by extraterrestrials, farmers may be delighted that these humans are giving up. But tourists may not be so happy. They come to Wiltshire from all over the globe. Many stop at the circling headquarters, the Barge Inn at Honey Street. Yes, sadly, they, they obviously have gone home. They've made the effort to come over here. But they, they still enjoy the pictures on the wall, so that's the main thing. Yes, this is the pub's display for 2004. Loads of images of crop circles. 2005, just as many. Beautiful shapes. As for this year, well, it's all a bit blank. So the Wiltshire countryside is likely to remain something of a, a blank canvas to crop circle artists this year. That is, unless... Robert Murphy in Wiltshire for the West tonight. It's behind you. Why didn't they you? take him? <laughs> no, no, he's lovely. Uh, coming up to quarter past six, you're watching the West tonight, still ahead. Is, uh...